Hey everyone, it's Jade here from PsyQ. Like you, we were pretty shocked to hear about Ahmed Mohammed, the poor guy in Texas who was arrested for the crime of engineering and bringing a homemade clock to school. Um, we were pretty upset, not because he got arrested, I mean teens get arrested all the time, more the fact that a teacher, someone who's paid for by our taxes, couldn't tell the difference between a clock and an explosive device. Uh, hint, explosive devices include explosives, whereas this one didn't. So as a form of protest, we wanted to teach everyone out there how to make a homemade clock in the hope that schools will be flooded with clocks of all types and maybe kids will be inspired to engineer other things and maybe teach our teachers a little bit as well. So here's how to do it. Okay, so first things first, you're going to need to buy a few things. Um, these are all available on Amazon. The first thing you're going to need is an Arduino board. Now, Arduino is basically a piece of hardware that takes instructions from a computer. So you plug this baby into a computer, download the code that you want uh, from Arduino's website. In this case, we're going to want a code for a clock and boom you have the uh, brains of the device. You can buy an Arduino board from Amazon, they're about 25 bucks. You'll also need a real-time clock. Now this baby takes time, it just makes sure that the time is accurate and it has a little mini battery in case the power goes out it'll keep your clock running smoothly. Again it's only about five bucks from Amazon. Uh, you'll need some breadboard jumper wires, these are like five bucks from Amazon for a whole bunch. Uh, you'll need a breadboard now breadboard's not for bread, it's just a thing that makes it easier for you to connect wires to other things without having to use a soldering gun. Um, and you'll also need a way of displaying the time so you can read it. I like this LED display, it's called a seven segment display because each digit has seven segments and it kind of, if you buy it in red, it kind of looks like a movie countdown clock. Very topical. Uh, so how to make it. First thing you need to do is create a circuit between the real-time clock, the digital display, and the Arduino board. So your board is sending messages to the digital display and reading the time from the clock. Creating your circuit is the kind of basic electronics you would learn in primary school. We're just trying to connect everything so it makes a nice circle and electricity can flow through. For exact instructions on where to plug everything into, we recommend this Arduino for Beginners tutorial, which is very clear and nice and slow. Click here to check it out. So now you have your electricity all circulating nicely and you've got power to each part of your clock. You're going to need a way of transmitting the information, basically telling the LED display what the time should be. So basically you want a circuit between all these components. So on the clock, the pin you need to plug it into is marked SCL for, CL for clock. And that plugs into the pin marked C for clock on your LED display. And then back into analog 4 and analog 5 on your Arduino board. Again, for instructions, I recommend this tutorial. Very, very simple. Now you've got your data circulating and your electricity circulating, it's time to upload the code that you'll need. The Arduino board can take code for many different functions, but we're going to download a code for a clock function. And voila, now you have your real-time clock keeping track of the time and telling your Arduino board what to tell the LED to display. Once you've built this basic model of a clock, you can add all sorts of other extra components, including buzzers that will go off at certain times, and alarms so you'll remember to wake up and go to school. There you go, guys. It's not too complicated. You can make one of these babies in about 20 minutes, and I hope that you do. Once you've bought your Arduino board, you can also make all sorts of other things. I'd recommend checking out Programmer Languages channel for all sorts of tutorials on fun things that you can make and engineer. We hope that you'll make all sorts of fun things and keep on creating. Thanks for watching PsyQ. See you next time. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.